The next manual muscle test is going to be for the um, gastrocnemius muscle in the calf. Uh, for this one, this is a plantar flexor at the ankle joint and um, it also assists in knee flexion. So when we are assessing this one, we do want to make sure that the, the knee is um, locked. We're going to have her in a standing position. And again, you may want to put her near a, a table because she is going to be coming up on her um, one, one leg and, and she, she doesn't want to put a lot of weight on this finger. It's just kind of su for support. But what we want her to do is we want her to have her uh, keep her knees straight and we want her to, to do, uh, try to do 25 uh, heel raises. Uh, again, up, down. Again, not real fast, just kind of slow and you're just trying to see if she can do 25 uh, would be normal. Okay, that's good. And that's for the gastrocnemius. For the soleus muscle, we want her to slightly flex the knee, again keeping the other leg up and still um, holding on to support lightly with the other hand. And again, keeping the knee bent, uh, this is also a plantar flexor only um, at, the, at the ankle joint. So go ahead. And again, we want to try to do up slow, down slow, again uh, 25 for that, for the soleus muscle. Okay. And the next one that we're going to be doing is going to be the anterior tibialis. And again, for, for these muscles, uh, the anterior tibialis is going to be a dorsiflexor and an inverter uh, muscle. So we we'll want to try to, again, you can either do this in a sitting position or a, uh, with the legs off the table or in a supine position if you wanted to. Uh, but what you want to do is you want to try to put her in the complete opposite. So I'll, have, I'll put her in dorsiflexion and eversion. And my resistance is going to be here on the medial side. And again, I want to isolate uh, the, an the ankle joint. And again, I'm going to have her come up and in, in against uh, my resistance. Go ahead. And that's anterior tibialis or tibialis anterior. We also have a uh, posterior uh, tibialis. Okay, so for the posterior tibialis, this is also going to be an inversion and a plantar flexion. So uh, I'm going to have her in the extreme opposite. I'm going to have her in um, uh, extreme dorsiflexion and I'm going to have her into eversion. Okay, so up and out is my starting position and she's going to be coming down and in for uh, plantar flexion and inversion. Okay, one more time. And that's uh, tibialis posterior or posterior tibialis. Next we have our peroneus longus and our peroneus brevis muscles. Uh, these are both going to be everters and uh, plantar flexors. Um, so again, if I put her in, into extreme uh, dorsiflexion and inversion, that would be my starting point. And then I would stabilize the distal tib fib while she uh, uh, plantar flexes and everts the foot. My resistance is going to be um, on the outside or lateral side of the foot. Uh, go ahead. So she's going down and out. One more time. Uh, into down and out into plantar flexion and eversion. And the last one is also is peroneus tertius. This is going to be an everter and a um, dorsiflexor. So again, if I put her into um, uh, extreme um, uh, plantar flexion and inversion, what she's going to be doing for peroneus tertius is she's going to be coming up into dorsiflexion and out into eversion. Again, up and out. One more. Up and out. That's peroneus tertius. Okay, the next group of manual muscle testings are for the toes and the foot. First one is going to be for the great toe, also known as the hallux, um, for manual muscle testing. So we're going to be doing a uh, flexor halysis longus. The longest muscle is going to attach to the distal phalanx, so we want to make sure that our, we isolate or stabilize the proximal phalanx. Well, uh, you 
put your resistance against the distal phalanx and what she's going to be doing is just um, flexing the, the tip of her toe against uh, resistance. Go ahead. Uh, just the little part. There you go. Okay, one more. Okay, and then it's flexor hollicis longus. We also have a flexor hollicis brevis uh, that is going to be um, attaching to the proximal phalanx. So we're going to stabilize here on the first uh, metacar metatarsal bone and our resistance is going to be against the proximal phalanx while she uh, pushes down again into uh, flexion. One more time. With the great toe only. Uh, flexor hollicis brevis. We also have a uh, flexor digitorum uh, longus and brevis uh, for the other toes. Uh, again, for this one, you're going to be stabilizing the the metal, the metatarsals again, uh, uh, two through five. And what she's going to be, you can apply your resistance um, both on the uh, proximal phalanx, the middle phalanx, and the distal phalanx for these. And all she's going to be doing is she's going to be curling her, her uh, toes uh, downwards. So curl those down again. This does not include the great toe. Okay, can go down, and that's flexor digitorum longus and brevis. We also have a f extensor digitorum uh, longus and brevis. Again, this is going to be uh, we're going to stabilize the uh, uh, metacarpal bones uh, two through five, and our resistance is going to be against the uh, proximal, middle, or uh, distal phalanx of uh, all or, or any one of the individual um, digits, uh, two through five. So again, she's going to break, be bring. Again, if you wanted to, you can push her into uh, flexion and then have her extend the toes. Go ahead. Let's do one more time. So we're testing all of those. That is extensor digitorum brevis and longus. And then we also have uh, extensor hollicis uh, longus. Uh, we're going to stabilize the proximal phalanx and we're going to apply resistance to the top of the great toe. Again, you can put her into extreme flexion and what she's going to be doing is extending the uh, distal phalanx against gravity if you want to. Go ahead, extend. Okay. That's the flexor, extensor hollicis longus. And then we also have the extensor hollicis brevis, which attaches to the proximal phalanx. So again, my stabilization is going to be on the first metacarpal tarsal bone. And my resistance is going to be on the back side of the proximal phalanx. Again, uh, you can put it into slight flexion if you wanted to while she extends. Uh, the great toe. That's it.